We're starting a new series tonight, Unaddressed American Problems, where we bring you the issues that are left unsolved, which leaves you at risk. Now, tonight, rare and easily preventable diseases are making a comeback. There are more measles cases in the U.S. in the first three months of 2019 than there were all of last year. And if you think that's scary, well, there's a mysterious disease right now causing paralysis among young children. It's called acute flaccid myelitis, and it bears shocking similarities to polio. Within 12 to 15 hours later, she was um, put on a ventilator and was 100% paralyzed from her shoulders down. It was difficult for us as parents to watch my daughter going through so much pain and not be able to do anything about it. It was almost like an old man hunched over, really just in pain. Joining me now is Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Dr. Fauci, what is causing, let's start with measles and we'll get to AFM. What's going on with the measles? Well, the problem is that parents are not vaccinating their children in certain localized areas of the country. And when you get below a certain critical level of percentage of the community uh, unvaccinated, then when someone comes into the community, you wind up getting uh, an outbreak. A typical example is Rockland County in New York and in New York City in the Hasidic Jewish population. Someone went over to Israel and they have a very low vaccination rate among the Orthodox Jews in Israel, came back into the community. And because the children were not vaccinated, the umbrella of protection in the community was lifted and you had an outbreak. And that's what's going on in Rockland County right now. Vaccination is still controversial in, in some circles. People yeah, saying, it's, look, you get too many vaccines at one time. You can have a heightened risk of other uh, problems. Right. It's, it's misinformation, Laura. It really is. I mean, if you look at the, the, the evidence-based facts, Vaccines are safe. The MMR, the measles, mumps, rubella is a safe vaccine. And the measles vaccine is one of the most effective vaccines we have, 97 percent effective. Um, let's talk about acute flaccid myelitis. I've been tracking this story for some time. Right. This is terrifying. Yeah. These, are, these are parents who ha have a healthy child. Right. One moment, total paralysis on a ventilator the next. Right. Uh, what is this? Well, you know, we're not 100 percent certain, but the evidence is mounting. It's highly suggestive that it is a post viral infection, uh, post-viral syndrome. And it's likely a virus that we're tracking that's of a polio-like virus. It isn't polio. For sure it's not polio. But there's a class of viruses called enteroviruses. And the epidemiological occurrence of the outbreaks of this virus coincides with the outbreak of this acute fast. So if you, have a, if you have a respiratory infection, right. are you more, more susceptible to getting infected by this enterovirus? What we believe is that the virus enters through the respiratory tract. Most children recover with no problem at all, but rarely a child gets a post-viral syndrome, which is the acute flaccid myelitis. But you can't do a vaccine for this until well, you identify uh, we, the specific we, virus. Exactly. We need to prove what virus it is. We think it's an enterovirus D68, a specific kind of virus, but we don't know for sure. Uh, here are the symptoms of that. Sudden leg or arm weakness, difficulty moving the eyes, facial droop or weakness, difficulty swallowing, slurred speech, children especially affected, correct? Well, 90% of them are children. The average age is four years old. Uh, recovery? Well, they don't necessarily recover completely. In fact, most of the children have some sort of residual paralysis or residual weakness, which is really very unfortunate. Dr. Very Dr. Fauci, thank you for these updates, and uh, we'll be tracking this with you and uh, come back soon. Good to be with you, Laura.